Wait, 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 read that again. What'd he say? Huh? He said, What'd he say? Who who said what? Who Jordan said what, huh? Lucas, What'd he say? Jordan Lucas What'd he say, huh? Hey, Nick Cannon. Okay. You better stop rap jumping my nigga Marshall before me. Huh? 50. Who? Royce. What? Crooked Eye. What? Lloyd Banks. Oh. J. Cole. Oh. Kendrick. Word. Logic. Oh. Tech Nine. Nah. Big Sean. And who? And King Lowe's. Yikes. Get busy on you. Yikes. Huh? Hey. That's a lot of people. I mean, that, that, that's a lot of people. Listen. That's a lot of people. And not only, not only did they get the attention of of uh, Jordan Lucas, Eminem, 50 Cent jumped in there. Uh huh. Say, I don't understand to save my life why somebody would pick a fight with him. He is a different kind of animal. I don't see a motherfucker coming close to beating him. Nope. Hey, Nick, nope. that ish was trash. <laughs> I ought to kick you in your ass next time I see you, punk. And then 50 posted a little flyer of believe in restoring the game even if it means destroying all its players. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got votes, I got quotes, I got jokes, and I know you probably wonder why I'm up so close. But guess what? <laughs> Dearly beloved Cecilia departed, we're just getting started. And I had to, listen, look, look, look me in my motherfucking eyes when I'm talking to you. Look me in my eyes so you can understand what I'm talking about. Yo, I got my dog with me. Showtime SP. The nobody that knows bodies. Gang, 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 gang. They finally gang. let me off. Huh? And I came in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To talk to you. The floor is yours. Listen, man. Yeah, I, 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 Listen, the floor man. is yours. Nick Cannon uh, decided to come out of the woodwork. I, I don't know where did this come from. Okay. Uh, you know, I was just minding my business. I was sitting down. I was at the lunch table. Just go. Just chill. Uh huh. And then they said Eminem diss. And then I heard Nick Cannon. And then I heard Charlie Clips, and then I heard Hitman Holla, and then I heard Rich Dallas with dreads uh, rapping. And um, you, it shouldn't have been a diss. It shouldn't have been a diss. So off the first one, I know you got upset, and I know you walked away, but I just had to make sure that it was here for them. You know what I'm saying? I had to make sure I got the clip just for them. Okay. But then today. Go. Today. Go. Nick Cannon drops a post about Marshall, come on. That was fun. And then he had the crowd behind him. And then they dropped another one. It was better. It was it was better. Okay. It was better. Couple things. Okay, talk to me. One. Right. It was the renegade. Um basically yeah. they, they chopped that one yeah, up. Yeah, looped it up, looped it up. Yeah, they quick. uh they chopped that one up. That that that's uh that's Jay Z and uh who? Mm -hmm. Eminem. Yeah, yeah, um yeah. so and then um if I'm not mistaken Nick knew he made a mistake by going first on the last track, so therefore he went last. By the way, Charlie, you, you did your thing, you killed that. Hitman Holly, you did your thing, you killed it. Conceited, I rocks with that for fire. Rich Dollars with dreads. I, I don't know who you are. <laughs> so if we don't know exactly who you are, I'm pretty sure M doesn't. You're definitely going to get a quarter of a bar. Like okay. you're going to be the, you're going to be the F y'all. Like you're going to be the L. Yeah, yeah, okay. Anyway, last part. Uh, Nick Cannon went last, okay. and he used the flow from Renegade. Right. Not not Jay Z's flow, but but Eminem's flow. Uh, somebody uh, who was uh, in the video, I don't know, wilding out, looking a little bit shaky, baby. Mm -hmm. What you think, though? I'm just looking at portraits of the corpses. <laughs> I can get your pit painted in a tweet frame. I can have eight mile. I can have Eminem to eight mile by ten it or Royce to five nine. nine it. <sighs> we might as well get a chop in this fable. Mm -hmm. Starbucks corpses tipping the boxes as Mabels. Mm -hmm. Yo, the hand that rules the world is finna rock they cradle. <laughs> Yo, all right. I, I want to do it like this, right? So. You had John John the Don made a statement today, right? Mm -hmm. He went live, and I got you know uh, uh, the stream, and I'm gonna put it at the end of this video. And he had an interesting perspective. You know, he's friends with uh, real good friends with Charlie Clips. He's good friends with Hitman. You know, yeah. they, they was all jumping in the battle with mm -hmm. uh, Farrah like about a week, about a week ago. Hey, ah, you know what I mean? Um, so he gave an interesting perspective, and he said this, right? Mm -hmm. 
should they not jump in for their mans? You know what I'm saying? Like Nick Cannon is their man. You know what I'm saying? He's he's pretty much changed all of their life. Like when we look at things from a wide perspective, gotcha. like, I could joke all day. You know, I, I we get busy with the jokes. You I'm know what I'm saying? You. I could do that. I'm with you. But when we look at things from the wide perspective, like Nick Cannon changed every one of their lives. You know what I mean? Like they they they, they none, I don't believe none of them are millionaires, mm. but none of them ain't got to go to work tomorrow, and I do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like so. Uh, with that being said, he's changed every single one of their lives immensely for the rest of the year. They will always be entrenched in some part of history as far as what they do a while now. Right. So he's given them a platform to express themselves artistically. Mm -hmm. I think that this is all a ploy mm -hmm. to get Eminem to go on Wild and Out. That's all I think this is about. Yeah. Because I, when yeah. you think, right, and John, and John John said, when you think of this records, this whole thing went left mm -hmm. when Nick Cannon is the face. Yeah. When have you ever been with your boys, jumped in the car and said, throw that Nick Cannon on? Never. When have you ever been at a club and heard somebody say, no Nick Cannon? Jiggler. I'm talking about, yeah, that was way back. I'm talking about <laughs> recently. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, 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 but what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. the body falls when the head falls. The yeah. head is the part of this. The, Nick Cannon is the head of this. Correct. So a diss record mm -hmm. is only going to get far as the credibility of the other mm. person on the record. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, when when, when the diss record starts and uh, Nick Cannon is the first person to rap, and that's kind of like setting the bar. So, Hitman, I liked some of the bars that he had in the first one. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, yeah, the yeah. Marshalls, the Target, I liked it. Mm -hmm. They only had three, four bars up there, though. They, their flows was mad short. Charlie they had, had the bars. two M's, though. He said yeah. M and M don't belong that on the nine. But, I caught that, Charlie. But they, they, they only had so few bars. Yeah, and it's like six, six bars, six lines. But the thing is, this was going to be the biggest look, right? Bigger than their battles, mm -hmm. trust me. Yeah. More people will see this mm -hmm. than will see any battle that they've ever been in. And that's just the way it goes. And some people say, oh, they went viral. But trust me, this ain't viral in a good way. No, uh, it's not a good all way. All of the videos of the joint have more dislikes than likes. <laughs> Eminem. <laughs> I mean. I they, Eminem has a huge fan base. You well, know what I'm saying? And, um, well, no, I mean, let me, what you got to say, bro? You got to look at it like this, though. I mean. Nick Cannon went first, and, and I didn't like the calm talking, the raps. Like, why, why are you, why are you baby talking to us? Like, I don't, I don't, I feel like you were, like, usually I was expecting like a rah rah from Nick. No, it was more like it was cool. Like, and you got a red hat on with the rice cake hoodie. You ain't doing all good. Shut, up, shut. Up. Like, that's um, just how I felt. Now, I also got one more thing to say. Yes, heavy is the head that you know that's in the front. You know what I'm saying? That's the king, but. Mm -hmm. I think because Nick Cannon is not that great of a rapper, he does have a team of battle rappers. They should be able to diss somebody. Mm -hmm. So I, I get what Nick was doing as far as crafting this this coalition of people, but you he kind he should have kind of like, he should he kind of should have like Diddy the situation talking trash on the yeah. Lakers. Yep. But like this was Hollow Down. I mean, mm -hmm. like John John said. Mm -hmm. Uh, just you should have talked to your talking to records and let your guys yep. be the ones to get at it. You yep. know what I'm saying? Because yep. like he just he just don't got that kind of flow. No, he doesn't. And there was certain people, you know what I'm saying? There was people in battle rap who who had things to say about the record. But uh most notably, uh Gigi Gotti, you know what I'm saying? He basically said, uh he was, hey, like, he was a bitch. Sorry, nah, that's not nah, what he said. No, nah, nah, that's oh, not what sorry. he said. That wasn't what he said. Yeah. No, no. Um <laughs> He was on Twitter earlier and he basically said that uh <laughs> It's time to call in the red team. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you need not only the black squad, you need the red squad, you need the platinum squad, you need, you need the gold squad. Crockett back. <laughs> you need to call every single person you ever had as a guest star. Right. You need to bring them back. The y Listen. <sighs> Nate. Okay. There are certain people you can poke at. Like, mm -hmm. there are certain people you can diss, okay. and it could be entertaining. Right. Eminem's not one of them dudes, okay? Yeah. What's it but like? But Geechee, let, me, um, let me tell you uh, what Geechee said. Mm -hmm. He said, check this out. Clips, Hitman, Khan, yes, they battle rappers, so we support them, mm -hmm. but that don't mean we can't say it's whack if it's whack. Oh, it's trash. We not yes men. Mm -hmm. I hope they blow up even more and get more money, opportunities, and everything, but it's still trash. Yeah. And also said, Nick should have used the red squad. This ain't this black squad ain't it, Chief. No. You know what I'm saying? No. And um 
you know, a Hitman Hollow replied to it. You know what I'm saying? He, Hitman Hollow was saying things like, you know, uh, talking crazy about us is not going to help your career. And just not not as far as Geechee Gotti, but he was saying, um, yeah. he added Geechee Gotti and said, it's a bunch of whack sh that you said yeah. on, on Twitter. They said, it's a bunch of sh that you got that I could have told you was whack on Twitter. Mm. I don't write rap. I don't write rap. Whack raps, miss me with that. Mm. You doing what the battle rappers doing, which is following the narrative and throw shades. Say less though. Then Geechee Gotti replied and mm. said, This was not it. I don't give a F. You know damn well it wasn't too holler. This wasn't it. He's basically saying this was not this it. Ain't it yeah. You done dropped plenty of music and them other joints was yeah. hot. I done congratulated you public too, so miss me with that narrative. Mm. And then um Geechee Gotti also went on to say um something to the term of you gonna support your people, like if your auntie's selling um, platters at a, at, for the family, if you know they're not good, you still gonna buy one because you support your people, but you still know that the food is not good. You know what I'm saying? Like no. Well, people do that. You the, gonna support? I, I mean, let's, it sounds good, but you gonna support your. I'd people. rather just put money on the table. People gonna support. Don't give me the pie. People gonna support their auntie. Family. Your pie is trash, but I wanna help you keep this building up. Maybe we could bring somebody in here who could cook better cakes. But as of right now, just take this money. Just go ahead and put it towards something. That is not. It's funny you, uh, that uh, Hitman Holla said you're just doing what everybody else is doing, and that's following the narrative. I watch way too much wrestling mm -hmm. to tell you to, to believe mm -hmm. for one second that this is real. Mm -hmm. I honestly believe this is called a work in the wrestling field or a shoot. Basically, it's whatever makes the crowd angry. Like I know what's gonna bother people, mm -hmm. so let me do it. That is what, that's what Nick is being here. He's really being the the, the heel in this type of situation. Right. So, um, it's not a good heel, but a heel. But, 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 but last but not least, you know what I'm saying. Um, in, in more, in some good news, mm -hmm. uh, we made the complex, complex.com. Mm -hmm. They were doing, you know, they ran, they did their run about the Nick, the Nick Cannon and. Mm -hmm. um, the situation with Eminem is that people are clowning Nick Cannon for dissing Eminem, you know what I'm saying, for Eminem diss track. Mm -hmm. And I had tweeted, dog, RIP Nick Cannon is the number one trend in the United States and they even started a GoFund for his <laughs> funeral. I thought something really happened to dude and I realized it's just Eminem fans. And that tweet, they just took like all the viral tweets from mm -hmm. that day. They put them on their website. So salute to Complex, you hey. know what I'm saying? Rice Gang on Complex, we, we're making them moves. But, um, I think that I, I, I'm gonna have to tell him, dog. Uh, I, I'm on the red team personally. Justina Valentine, where are you at? Carlos Miller, come on down. DC Young Fly. Chico we gotta B. Send, we gotta send the results. Unless you gotta get everybody, <laughs> alright? The next you people, AVI, the next you people get pick up and kill it, pick up and kill it, <laughs> yep. pick up and pick up and pick up and kill it. You need, you need to bring Mikey Day back, you need to bring the, uh, 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 Scruncho back. Right. What's the uh, the little, you need to bring Corey back. Mm. You, everybody, okay? Mm. Everybody to get on one song and say one thing oh, to uh, Eminem. Next time, Eminem. next time. Next time Nick Cannon is in the studio and the producers are there and they play the the, the record for the for them to rap on, mm. cause he need to be like DJ D Rec, <laughs> cut the <laughs> beat, I'm out. There's where I think niggas went wrong. Me personally. And it's not the fact that like niggas niggas is out here talking about niggas is clout chasing, jumping in this shit. Uh, with Nick Cannon and Eminem, niggas, I see niggas try to try to put that narrative out there, cloud chasing. First of all, y'all don't ride for y'all niggas. If y'all niggas got any issues, y'all y'all don't ride for y'all niggas. Y'all not pulling up. This is this is of course it's only rap beef, but shit, nigga. If I'm Charlie Clips a hitman, nigga, I really do this shit. Of course I'm gonna step up for a nigga that's cutting my checks. So. Eliminate the clout chasing shit. Please. Um, that's one thing, right? Now, here's what should get tricked. Now, were they the best diss tracks we've ever heard? No, of course not. But how good of a diss track are we going to get with the cannon on it? Like, <laughs> like, what are you niggas expecting from Nick to, and I think the only thing, I feel like 
Nick should have just sat back, let Hitman and Clips go at the nigga, and you just stamp it. Look, man, I'm a boss, man. You want me to get? You want you want me to rap with you? Come to Wild and Out, cause you know this is all is about Nick trying to get him on Wild and Out to battle or whatever the fuck. Come on, Wild and Out. They didn't get in there to make this diss record like yo, we about to end Eminem's career. That was not y'all niggas is expecting an ether or a takeover or some shit like that. That's, <laughs> come on, bro. But I do think. Nick shouldn't have rapped on there at all. I think that's what it was. And I think with the first one, once you hear Nick, it doesn't matter what, what else is after that. Like, that. And it's no disrespect to Nick, because I fuck with the nigga. I fuck with Nick. You know what I mean? But we keeping it a thousand. And then y'all just, you know, off that alone, it makes the diss record cringeworthy, because we talking about niggas going at Eminem, Eminem the, the rap guy. You know what I mean? So I think that's more so what it is. I think the niggas shouldn't have rapped, man. I think the niggas shouldn't have rapped. First song, niggas spit eight bars. That was just some quick on-the-spot type shit. The shit get big and blew up and everybody tuned in. Now everybody got their opinion. They not they don't care how the song got made. It's all about what's being said. So people going to judge it for face value type shit. But... I just think Nick Cannon don't need to be in any rap beef. But if you want to talk about clout chasing and what's clout chasing, why did Eminem mention this nigga in the first place on Fat Joe out? So maybe this is what the nigga wanted. I don't know, my nigga. I don't know. I My thoughts all over the place. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, the nigga, I don't know. That nigga supposed to be the only dude on the track Well That too Well you know what I'm saying That too I just feel like it would it would have been way better If we heard Hitman and Clips By themselves Like without Nick Like they just gunning Gunning at him I think we would have seen a whole different situation Like Them niggas is doing Them niggas is filming while and out right now In the middle of filming it They taking a little spare time A little spare 20-30 minutes Cook up a few bars Record it and just put it out there. That's what's going on. They're not sitting down. This is why they're able to to to, uh, to pump them shits out so fast. Them niggas got diss tracks and videos right away. Wild filming, wilding out. Them niggas is just, come on, man. Them niggas have to come with They thought they was on the back of some Disney shit. <laughs> niggas said, clips of hip and holes. <laughs> them niggas got Disney raps. That's the energy they around, man. They around fucking Nick Cannon, bro. It's the energy, man. Put them niggas in the dark room by themselves. Let them niggas sit down. Come on, my nigga. How many how many verses we heard Hitman and Clips on beat going crazy? Bars, 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 bars. I think the energy is just with Nick. Take Nick off the song. Let him just talk his, his bullshit. Take that nigga off the song, Take that nigga off. I mean, I'm never going to listen to this shit again. But what the fuck was we expecting from... I understand people saying they expected more out of Hitman and Clips because you're comparing it to their battles. I get, I get that part. I really do. I really do. That's nowhere near what them niggas is capable of doing. And that's nowhere near what them niggas have done already. I get that part. I get that part. But now niggas is trying to use it to discredit. And that's where the, the shit gets tricky. Like, niggas can't wait to knock niggas at the top of their game type shit to do anything. They can't wait for any little fuck up or misstep to jump on it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some niggas are getting the most retweets they ever got speaking on this shit in a negative way. 